and welcome to the Knitting Pastor Vlogcast. I am Heather and I am your host. I am a United Methodist pastor of two small member congregations in rural mid-Michigan and I am coming to you from my home, uh, which is a parsonage, which is a home owned by one of the churches where I live with my two kids, Abby and Philip, and our Rhodesian Ridgeback, Flint. So today is Saturday, March 21st, and we are over a week now into um, the COVID-19 pandemic and all of the restrictions that come along with that. So the kids and I have been practicing our social distancing and um, doing what we need to do uh, to keep ourselves safe and to keep others safe as well. They were not in school all week, um, so that's been interesting. And actually all of this has just been a very different way of living, that's, that's for sure. Um, I'm going to do my best to make this like a normal vlogcast sort of thing, but I don't know how well that's going to work out. We're not able to do much, so I'm not sure how much footage I'm going to have <laughs> during the week. Um, but it's been, it, if nothing else, it's interesting for me to look back on because I'm kind of chronicling the evolution of all of this stuff. Um, <clears throat> so. They have not been in school. I've been trying to give them a little bit of uh, online coursework and some worksheets and things like that to just keep them mentally engaged. But we haven't been super uh, stringent with that. I want to be a little bit more stringent with that going forward, but we kind of needed some time just to kind of let all of this settle and figure some things out and breathe and catch up and rest. Um, because this has been very exhausting, for me at least, um, navigating everything. So they're home. Um, <clears throat> my churches, we're doing online worship right now, and um, we've been doing that, but it's just very weird when the church is empty. So that's very strange. Um, I have gone, so last week I did go to each church for a couple of hours and open the church up if anybody wanted to come in and pray or talk with me. So I did that. I didn't really see anybody. I had like one person come in to each church. Um, and then I recorded a little Facebook Live message from one of them that I have access to their Facebook page. And so I did that. And I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do that this week. Again, I don't know if that will happen. Um, the number of cases in Michigan is now over 500, so I kind of expect that we might see a shelter in place order come into effect this week, but I don't know that for sure. Um, we have been, you know, we go to the grocery store just as we we need to, and. Um, that's, that's about it. Um, I did order some yarn from my local yarn shop, but I didn't bring over here and picked that up. Um, we've been trying to support small businesses as we can without, you know, exposing ourselves. So it's a very challenging balance with all of that. Um, that being said, <laughs> I've been able to knit because it's been like the one thing that I can tangibly do that kind of makes me feel like I'm in control of a situation and um, yeah so I'm gonna show you how knitting has been going um, I do have a finished object to show you which um, I was excited about and those are my luminary socks uh, which are right here it's I'm gonna show you you only get half of the pattern here because it's on the whole foot but yeah these are the luminary socks they're by Helen Stewart um, this is the first pair of socks in her handmade sock society season three um, so those are done so <clears throat> my love note is kind of been put on hiatus because child, child. Um, <laughs> 
That's kind of I'd put on hiatus because I'm running out of mohair. I only have this much left and I have another sleeve to do. So I have finished the body and I have finished a sleeve and now I am trying to get a hold of more, more of the mohair. I only have about seven grams left and I have the sleeve and the neckband to do still. And I think I've run low because I knit the body longer than the pattern called for and the sleeves longer than the pattern called for. Um, so I think that's part of what my problem is and why I am, because I knit full length sleeves when the pattern is more of three quarters. So yeah, so here's the lace, if you can see that very well, I don't know if you can. Um, yeah, so I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to get more from my local yarn shop. She thinks she can order more, um, but I just have to kind of coordinate with her how to, how to do that. Um, if not, I believe Webs carries that. Um, it's Dream and Color Yarn is the yarn, so I'm hoping that I'll be able to have her get some more for me, or I can order some from there. Um, I have worked a little bit on vanilla socks, not a whole lot, but those have just kind of been if I needed something small and mindless, which I haven't needed a lot of small stuff because I'm stuck at home. And then the other thing is a new cast on, which is the Spotlight Sweater by Tim Cabinets. See it right there? And um, this has gone very quickly because I'm knitting it for a baby. Um, I'll explain that later when I finish it. But yeah, I've got the body and the sleeves done and now I'm on the yoke. So the color work part will begin very soon. Um, I'm using, they're rolling away from me. These are my color work colors that I'm going to use. Um, I'm not using three colors, just using two. So a red and a black. They're Knit Picks Bravo, which is their acrylic yarn. So that's the knitting. So that is all I've got for now. I uh, will check in later. All right, it is Sunday, March 22nd, and I'm about ready to leave to go to my one church and record an online worship service. It's kind of strange doing that. Um, you know, we've been recording and our, our normal services and putting them on Facebook for quite some time, but it becomes very different when it's just you and then the people who are there to record. So it's like five people total. So that's a little bit strange, um, but we're doing the best that we can to try to stay connected with our congregations and, you know, we're just trying to make the best of a very odd situation. So, um, I'm going to head off to do that this morning. just got even more interesting in the COVID-19 pandemic of 2020. Um, our governor just came on and said that we have a shelter in place order in effect starting at midnight tonight and so that means that we are only allowed to go out for essential stuff like the grocery store or medications or doctors or something like that. Um, so all of that just got interesting and a little bit more complicated. I was, I had gone out to get a prescription that I needed to have filled and I kind of was suspecting that was going to be the case so I stopped at the store and 
just picked up a few more things, which was crazy at the store. And I just got back home now, um, so I'm going to go inside and put those away and send out some emails to my congregations because obviously I'm not going to be there this week at the church because that's not essential. So here we go. It keeps getting interesting. finished our second official day of the stay-at-home order put into place by our governor here in Michigan. So basically we're not allowed to go out, go out um, except to get like groceries or for medical related stuff or we are allowed to go outside and like take walks and things like that and get exercise outside which is definitely something that we have been doing because you can start to get a little stir crazy in the house. Um, so we can go out to get food, groceries, um, walks, all that sort of stuff, but that's it. So we've been doing okay with all of that. Everyone is still healthy, so I'm really thankful for, for that, that everyone is staying healthy. And um, we've just been spending time together. I've still been doing work. Um, I'm recording some messages from my home. I'm not going to be at the churches anymore um, because even though we're kind of exempt from the legal ramifications of violating the order, we're taking the approach that we are to live by example, or to set examples for other people to live by. And um, I think me staying at home and recording messages from my home sends a message that I'm taking this seriously and so others should be taking it seriously as well. So that's why I am choosing it to do that. Um, but the kids and I have been just spending time together, playing games, taking walks when the weather permits, um, because March in Michigan is still pretty unpredictable weather-wise, still not the greatest. I have been the last few days going through and trying to contact everyone in my congregations um, directly, either with phone or text, um, to check in with people. I'm two-thirds of the way through, so I, I should be able to finish up the rest of them tomorrow. Um, so that was, that was good. Everybody is doing, doing well, um, so that's, that's positive. I've been knitting. Uh, I did finish the baby sweater that I was working on, um, and uh, I don't have it out here with me, so I'll have to show it to you when I wrap all of this up. But, and I, the other thing that I've been working on is the next sock from Helen Stewart's Socks, Handmade Sock Society. And these are the, um, oh, ambient socks. The pattern is right over there, so I was looking. Um, and here is my progress so far on these. Um, it actually has two separate sides, so this is the front. And then this is the back side, and it's interesting how the speckling is working up on it. Um, I am almost to the heel flap and gusset. I have like a half of a repeat of the pattern. Um, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see the pattern with this particular lighting, but I'll show it to you better later on. So that is that. It does have a contrasting color for the heel and toes, and I'm going to use this blue which I think will contrast quite nicely with it. It'll bring out those pops of blue in there. Um, so yeah, this is the cape. I'll show you the cape of the yarn that I'm using. It's um, Ba Yarn La Jolla, and the colorway is called Love Potion. I really, really enjoy 
the La Jolla. I really enjoy the twist on it, which you can kind of see right there. I, I like I like the high twist quite a bit. I think it gives a really nice stitch definition that I enjoy quite a lot in my knitting. So yeah. So here is here is my sock. Oh, that's the back. This is the front. So I've been working on that and really enjoying it. I think I'm going to call it a night now. Um, it's about 1030 and all of this has left me pretty exhausted. You wouldn't think that this would be as exhausting as it is, but it is. So I'm going to call it a night and get some sleep. I will check in with you guys again. Um, it might not be a chat like this, it just might be at the end with me picking up little videos here and there, but I will uh, definitely talk to you one more time before I close out the vlog for the week. So I'll talk to you then. So today is Saturday, March 28th, and we are well into social distancing. We are well into our stay-at-home order here at Michigan, which went into effect this week. Um, yeah, so that's been... Life is definitely different. Uh, I've recorded just little bits and videos throughout the week of things that we were getting up to. The weather here was not super awesome this week. We had one nice day uh, that was actually very nice and the kids and I did go out for a walk on that day but we haven't really had cooperative weather for being outside a whole lot. Um, I did walk a little bit one day but it was quite damp and chilly and um, I didn't really want to be out in that a whole lot. Uh, today has been very gloomy, uh, very rainy like all day long. So the weather hasn't been cooperating. I'm really hoping that as we go into April that it'll get better and that the weather won't be as crummy, hopefully. So yeah, we are full swing into lockdown. Um, our governor issued a stay at home order on Tuesday, which I probably talked about earlier. I don't remember what I've recorded this week. I apologize for that. Um, and we haven't been out except for a trip, a quick trip to the store. And then I had to take the kids to their dads because they are still supposed to go to their dads. That's a court order and that is exempt. So they are at their dads. And hopefully that doesn't mean anything gets transported back and forth. So... Um, today's Saturday, like I said, and I've just been kind of getting things around for tomorrow because I am going to be doing a worship service from right here. <laughs> uh, so that's very interesting. Um, it will be shorter because it's just me and now we're just at my house and it's, it's a little crazy. All of this is very bizarre. I did this week go through and I called or texted every single family in both of my churches. It took me three days and like 12 hours of being on the phone because it was 75 households. Um, so that was pretty daunting and that was a lot, um, but people really seemed to appreciate it. Um, I was able to touch base with everybody and everybody is doing okay um, and they have 
the older people have family that are bringing them groceries and that sort of stuff. So everyone's doing okay, and most people are taking it pretty seriously. So um, that was good. And I've been, so I've been doing that. Um, and then knitting. I did a lot of knitting while I was making phone calls um, because I just needed something to do with my hands while I was talking to people on the phone. And the phone calls ranged anywhere from like five minutes to 40 minutes, just depending on the people and what they needed to get off their chests and whatnot. So I did do a lot of knitting. Um, I did mention at some point earlier in this week that I did finish the baby sweater that I was working on. Um, so I'm going to show you that right now. So here it is. This is the Spotlight Sweater by Tin Can Knits. Um, it is, this is my first foray into color work. And here it is. I am really pleased with how it turned out. Um, I blocked it. And so it really isn't bunching up a whole lot across the yoke. Um, I wasn't sure how that was going to go. Um, but I blocked it and it looks good. And I'll show you my floats because I guess that is a, that's a thing. You show off your floats um, when you do color work because they're kind of, I mean, they really are kind of beautiful in their own right. So yeah, here are my, here's the floats. Um, I was pretty pleased with how this turned out. Who knows when we'll get to have the baby shower for them, but I knit the, um, the six to 12 month size because the baby is due in like two weeks. And I knew that they wouldn't need a sweater, a zero to six month sweater um, right now. But in six months time, they'll definitely be getting into colder weather. And so a heavier sweater will be good. Uh, so that is the size that I knit. I did use acrylic yarn. Um, because these are some people who I don't know how well they would do with caring for wool. Um, and certainly with a new first time mom, if you're not familiar with hand knits and caring for wool, I didn't want something that was going to have to be hand washed. So this can easily be chucked into the, the washing machine. The yarn that I'm using is from Knit Picks. It's their Brava which is 100% acrylic. It is worsted weight. Um, so this knit up super quick and it feels quite, it really does feel really nice. Um, and especially after I gave it a soak and laid it out and um, it does feel quite nice. I'm quite pleased with it. And it's a very inexpensive yarn as well. So if you are looking to knit something on a budget and you don't mind acrylic, I would recommend this yarn because it is a great value yarn and it does feel really nice as it has been knit up. I don't know how it'll wear, um, but it feels very nice right now. So I am so, so pleased with this. My first color work, yay. Okay, that aside, I have plans for more color work because I enjoyed it quite a bit. So um, I'm not going to talk a whole lot about what my next project is going to be that's color work because it's going to be a gift and I don't want to, um, I don't want to give it away, but you will see it eventually. So yeah. And then I have a half object. Um, I, the latest sock from Helen Stewart's Handmade Sock Society season three came out on Tuesday and they are the ambient socks. And I finished my first one. So here it is. I really, really, really like it. Um, I really like how it feels on my foot, which I can't, it's hard to describe because it doesn't feel like a lot of my other socks when it goes on. Um, I can't really describe it, but I really like it. I really like the fit. I really am enjoying the colorway. I really enjoying the knit. So it is, one pattern across the front and then it is a different pattern across the back so you do have to pay attention to it which was okay but it's a sock so it's not super involved and it did get it did become very intuitive as you went on you started to kind of pick it up and it became really intuitive but you did kind of have to pay attention to what row you were on um yarn 
most of the sack is knit out of um, Ba Yarn, their La Jolla base, and the colorway is called Love Potion. And I really, really love the La Jolla yarn. The twist on it is fantastic. I don't know how well you can see, but the stitch definition that it gives is just amazing. Um, I, I really enjoy it. It is a little bit on the higher end price-wise, so if it is something that you can afford or you're just looking to treat yourself to some really nice yarn for a nice textured pair of socks or patterned sock, um, I would recommend I would recommend it if, if that falls within your budget. I understand it might not be within everybody's budget, but I really, really enjoy it quite a bit. And then the contrasting color, um, I can't remember what the name of the color is, but it is from AJHC Wool's um, their dyer here in Michigan that's carried in my local yarn shop. And so that's what I used for the heels, cuffs, and toes, and I think it just went perfectly with this Love Potion colorway that's got all kinds of different colors in it. So very pleased with this. I have not yet cast on the second one, um, but I think I might be doing that tonight or tomorrow. Sometime. It'll get cast on very soon because I did enjoy that quite a bit. And then the only other thing that I have, and I have worked on this a little bit, is my vanilla sock. Um, that's a striped sock, Knit Picks Felici, Candy Shop is the colorway. I do have a heel in it. Um, so yeah, I have been knitting on this if I've been reading uh, for class or for sermon preparations or anything like that. I've been knitting on this because it's just vanilla. This requires a little bit too much concentration for um, knitting while reading or doing something like that. So this has been coming in very handy. So I've knit a little bit. This is where I was, I think, when I started this, this week. So I've knit a few stripes. There is no super big rush on finishing those because they're just vanilla socks. So that's all there is to that. So that's pretty much all I have right now for this week. Um, I'm going to wrap it up here and um, I'll probably take off next week from recording anything and then I'll pick up again uh, in two weeks. Or you'll see me again in two weeks. I think I did okay with getting some content. Um, even though we were stuck inside. So, and hopefully it'll get better once the weather perks up. And if I record, if I start recording again in a week, it'll encompass Holy Week, which will be very weird. And I don't know how I'm going to handle Holy Week. Um, but I'll be vlogging for Holy Week, which I think I've done the last couple of years. And I've, I kind of like that. So I'm just rambling now. I'm gonna go. I hope all of you are healthy. I hope you're staying safe, you're following orders, and you're staying home, and you're practicing social distancing. Fortunately, we knitters have stuff that we can do to help keep us occupied during this time. But I just hope and pray that you're all safe and doing well, and um, I will talk to you again in a couple of weeks. Bye, guys.